Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dor, and together we're gonna talk about Enneagram 1, the reformer. Yes, often I would like to call this type the winner, <laughs> because that's how they tell themselves, what they tell themselves that they want to be. Yeah, the Enneagram 1 type wants to be the best. They want to do better than anyone. They want to be perfect. They want to outlive their expectations. They want to fulfill their vision. They've seen in their heads the thought of winning. Or that They've seen in their heads the thought of drawing this perfect painting. They've seen in their heads that perfect work. They've seen something and now, they want, now they're thirsty for it. Now they want it. And here's the positive thing about the Enneagram 1 type. You don't have to change that about yourself. There's nothing wrong with wanting that. There is nothing wrong with wanting to fulfill a vision. The problem with Enneagram 1 type, and all Enneagram 1 types, all Enneagram types have their issues, is that feeling that to succeed in this vision, to win, you have to go against your own needs. You have to go outside your comfort zone, you have to push yourself, you have to do things you don't like, you have to put aside friends, you have to neglect friends and your values, you have to set aside what you like, what you enjoy, for the sake of winning. The only thing that you can think about is winning. Yes, there is an assumption here, a dangerous assumption that your needs, your values, your feelings, your emotional well-being is somehow, somehow bad for your chances at success. Your friends will somehow slow down you or make your success less good. Yes, the Enneagram 1 type feels often that friends and family and other people are a detriment or a crutch on that ability to succeed. And often the Enneagram 1 type comes from this moment of rebellion. They had a dream, they had a vision, but perhaps their friends and their family tried to discourage them. And the Enneagram 1 types have this rebellious instinct in them. Nobody's going to tell me what I can't do. Nobody's going to tell me I can't succeed. Nobody's going to force me to fail. Yes, the Enneagram 1 type fears more than anything to be told that, that, that other people won't believe in them. That other people don't believe in them. and They're acting in rebellion against this belief. They believe other people see them as a failure and they go, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. And it's worth reflecting on that feeling for a second. Why do I think that way? Yeah, other people might worry. Other people might say, are you okay? Are you sure? Like, you know, that's difficult. And that's difficult to hear. Of course you know it's difficult. Of course you need, know it's going to need work. Of course you know it's going to need struggle. Often this worry as confirms another thing that's str a struggle for Enneagram 1 types. That feeling that to succeed or to want to succeed is something bad. That other people don't want you to succeed. That other people are jealous of you. That other people will look down on you for it. That other people, that you won't have any friends. That the winner is alone. Yes, the winner stands alone. That's often the issue or the struggle of the Enneagram 1 type. When you are the best, other people are looking up at you. And they're not looking at you like a human being. They're not looking at you like a person. And the Enneagram 1 types in movies and fiction often struggle with this. I saw recently in Cars and Pixar how the race car driver struggled with his higher view of other, himself in comparison to other people. He was the best. He was famous. He was so successful. And he came to a community where nobody knew him, where nobody had ever heard of him, where he was nothing and where everyone thought... Who the hell do you think you are? Yes, that's what they thought. Who the hell do you think you are to think you're better than us? You're not better than us. You think you're better than us? Hell no. And all of that was a lesson for the Enneagram 1 type. A lesson about who you were. Who you were when you didn't succeed. Who you were when you weren't a champion. Who you were when you were just a normal person, just like everyone else. Yes, often the Enneagram 1 type is on a journey to learn about their limitations, what their ethics tell them, their judgment of who they are. And the Enneagram 1 type often only finds that true success when they also find themselves and when they know who they are and when they know their ethics and when they know who they care about and who they know, when they know who their friends are and when they know that we are all equal.
What struggle do you have as an Enneagram 1 type? What is it you're trying to learn right now? What is it you feel about yourself and about your journey? And how are you progressing? Feel free to share your stories down below in the comments. And if you like this video, like, share and subscribe. And always, if you have the time, feel free to visit my patreon.com slash site and to leave a donation. I support any kind of uh, support and uh, <laughs> it means a lot to me. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video.